Welcome everybody, I'm Fabio Viviani and you're watching Fabio's Kitchen where every week we'll bring you an amazing dish made by me with a dish today that will blow the socks off to all my potato lover friends. Why potato lover? Because last episode, if you have watched, I've made ravioli with meat and potatoes for meat lover people. This time, we're gonna do the ravioli for potato lover people. Technically, there is no potato in this recipe, but meaning that by, by that I mean for all my vegetarian friends. Are you excited, guys, that I'm gonna make a meatless ravioli? Yes, I love you too. All right, so here's what we're going to do. First of all, like you have seen the past episode, we have fresh pasta. For now, I'm gonna leave this aside for a second. You know how to make fresh pasta because I've taught you and you've mastered the craft of it because of this video. You're welcome again. See how many things to be thankful for? So now, the easiest thing is to make a very delicious filling, meatless filling. First of all, you need a lot of cheese. Because if you don't have meat and you also give up the cheese, what are you going to put in your filling? Carrot sticks? It's not gonna work. So here's what we do. We have some beautiful ricotta cheese dry ricotta cheese. Remember, this is fresh ricotta, but it's dry, it's not, it's not the, the, the wheels one. This is in a tub. It's drier, but it's still super creamy. Mm, delicious. Then, we're gonna add some Italian grated cheese. I love Grana Padano. You can add Pecorino, you can add whatever other cheese you like. If you can find Grana, which is also widely available, so you shouldn't have a problem. Two cheeses, ricotta, and Grana Padano. A good pinch of salt. A good pinch of pepper. Two pinch of pepper. Change my mind. Then, we're gonna add lots and lots of parsley chopped. Delicious. Chive which reminds me of onion without upsetting the date that will eat the ravioli with me. Which in this case is my wife, don't get too excited out there. I'm out of the market game when it comes to female companions. All right, then we're gonna put basil. I have fresh basil right here, and here's what I'm gonna do. Squeeze the water out of it, toss the unnecessary, and chop the leaf. I got a good chopping technique. See? Make sure you keep your fingers in. You gotta keep your finger like this. Now. So the, the knife goes like that and you don't get all chopped. All right. Herbs. Herb ravioli, herbaceous, sweet. This herb ravioli has everything that a ravioli needs to have beside the meat. Now, we mix this. I think this is my cell phone. It's my wife. See, Ashley Lovey, that's my wife. Hi, honey. Hi, honey, what How, are you doing? I'm actually uh, shooting the show. I'm actually on camera right now, and I completely forgot to turn it off. So technically, they're filming me as I'm talking to you. How are you? Say hello, since you're here, say hello. Hi, honey. No, say hello Hi. to everybody. You're also on speakerphone, say hello. It's my wife. Uh, honey, I'm actually in the middle of a cooking segment. Can I call you back in a little bit? Yes, I'll talk to you later. I love you. Bye. Sorry. I forgot to turn my phone off. Let me turn my phone off. How do I do this? Airplane mode is probably the best way. All right. It's airplane mode right now. She's probably calling me to see if the ravioli is ready. All right. Sorry. Let's keep going. So here's what we do now. Once the mix is ready, 
It's gonna look like this. It's gonna look like an herbaceous, tasty, smelly, like grass and green and summer with a lot of cheese in it. I love it. Now, I need to create my pasta. I'm gonna press this a little bit. I'm gonna put a little flour on here. Last time I showed you how to do round ravioli, how to do the mezzalune, half moon, and how to do the folded one called the cappellacci or tortellini, tortelloni. Today we're gonna to do tortellacci. We're gonna start with a square shape and take it from there. But first, let me shape some pasta. All right. So now we gotta shape this pasta. And, and for as many shapes that I can show you, there is always more to come and to learn. Creating pasta is really like an art. And for every region of Italy, there is a different shape of pasta that is ready to be done. Now, let me show you one thing I wanna hear. Now, check this out now. Here's what we're gonna do now, all right? All right. Here's what we're gonna do. You ready? I'm gonna cut this in the middle and make thin ribbon. Well, it's not that thin, but it's thinner than the, how the pasta came out of it, right? Like that, thinner ribbon. And now we're gonna cut this in square, more or less. I'm glad I wasn't, I'm glad I wasn't the one doing the Sistine Chapel. because clearly I don't know what square look like, but I'm trying to make this square. I mean, you get the point, right? So here's what we do now. All right. We just close one side, just brush egg to one side. Then, with the help of a spoon and your finger, we're gonna place some ricotta right in the middle. And herbs, of course. You don't wanna overfill these, because otherwise you won't be able to close them. I feel like I feel like I already overfilled all of them, but let's try to, let's try to close a couple of them. But you know, I'm not very good in filling things because <laughs> yeah, I definitely overfill all of them. Um, all right, so now we're laughing. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Damn, they're really overfilled. All right, so here's what we're gonna do: close them in half like this. Like this, right? Close them in half. Now you have a triang triangle, ready? Now point it down with your middle finger, which is not very polite, but I'm not flipping anybody off. I really, I'm really using my middle finger to, to go like this and go like this. Look how beautiful they are. See? See, look at that. Close them. Now you have triangle, point down middle finger, close them. Look how beautiful they are. What? And I really didn't even overfill them too much because since it's fresh pasta, I mean, they, they are overfilled. But you can clearly squeeze the pasta in and still get ahead. Look. 
This is a technique that you can totally save yourself from embarrassment. Just squeeze the dough in. Since the dough is elastic, the dough will adapt. For example, this, it's way over full. Look at this. I can even close this, see that? I can even close it, but here's what I can do. I can go like this, spread it, close the, just the tip, and then go like this. See, I'm kind of stretching the pasta, look at that. And I'm kind of, see, boom. They will never know, they will never know. Oh my God, this is very overfilled. Look at this, woohoo. So you get the point, right? So we made beautiful tortellacci, and if you think that among all my restaurants, I serve over a thousand, a thousand pound of these a day. A day! We have an army. We have a soccer team sitting there just making ravioli the whole day. I don't even know why I'm very loud right now. I just felt I had to raise my voice to say that. All right, here we go. So, look, beautiful ravioli. Actually, they're not ravioli. The correct name for this is tortellacci. <gasps> you know what? Let me show you something else. I have a bonus for you. Let me show you what we call caramelle, candy. So, when you do a caramella, so, so, when you do a caramella, you have to cut it rectangular, like this. You ready for this? Check this out. And I thought we were done. A nice brush of egg wash. Check this out now. When you do a caramella, it's almost like a little surprise. You have to put a length, like a long strip of filling. Look at this. Ready? Check this out. Now you fold it like this, like this, and then you squeeze the edges like this, like a caramella. Look at that. Boom. You go like this. And you squeeze the edges like you would with the candy, look at that. That's a really bad looking one, but you know what, who cares? That's a bonus footage, so look at that. Look at that. Done, see? Look at that, amazing. And you thought we were over. Caramelle candy, these are lightly to be cooked. These are actually much better. When you cook them, you simmer them in the sauce, not throw them in the pasta because they're not very close. They're beautiful to look at it, but they're not very close. So you might end up breaking them. And this is what we call, this is what we call tortellacci. It's like a pop hat kind of. I don't remember what the pop hat looked like, but I felt to say that, so I said it. Looks like a Texan hat. Texan hat? Yes? You guys can talk, it's my show, they don't care. Cowboy hat. Cowboy hat. Like, yeah. Sombrero. 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 Thank God there is somebody with an operating brain that called it for what it is. It looks like a sombrero, not a pop hat, not a Texan hat. So we got tortellacci, it kind of look like a sombrero. And we have the caramelle. You're watching Fabio's Kitchen, you're welcome everybody.